So this is a extremely important step taken by the Indian Railways today in bringing in not only complete transparency, but eventually capturing the efficiency of system, which will result into railways becoming more cost effective, getting more and more new innovations into the system. And therefore, this is a, one of the most important events for the railways that we organized today. So I first of all congratulate all my colleagues in the railway board, member engineering, chairman of the railway board, and all his colleagues for making this happen. I know this is not just confined only to the member engineering, that is not only the engineering department alone. This is across the board. Every other contact will also be subjected to the same system which we just launched. In fact, I was just asking Chairman Railway Board, including the wagons and everything, eventually we like to put it, everything, on the system of e-tendering, so that every transaction that railway does over a period of time, in the next few, I mean, it's just April, May, everything should be completely online, transparent, efficient, which will also bring in more and more people joining the railway system, and they will also participate in tendering. For a long time, People are thinking, how do you enter into the railway's contacting system? This was the question people used to ask. In fact, so many people asked me that question. I said, which I had known, because I don't deal with tenders, I don't deal anything, so I don't know. But now, nobody need not ask that question. You just go to the website, find out how tending is done, and just now, as you could see, and as we are taking the next step of ensuring that even the tendering committee minutes, the eventual decision, all will be available online. I don't think there is any other organization which will be doing as transparent a process as we are doing. I don't think there is any organization. I know when we recently gave contacts for 40,000 crores, the member uh, mechanical is here, member electrical who retired. People are saying that they have not seen this transparency anywhere in the world because this was actually, the bidding was made by so many global companies. So now this is a major step. This will result into saving. I remember last time, only last week, last week we launched that, 15 days bank, we launched that other portal. And in one zone itself, we could see the savings that will come, will be probably about 1100 crores. So just imagine the magnitude of saving that railway will to get, the quality that will come in, and also as a result of which, the railways will be able to closer to the people. Railways will become, in terms of efficiency, operations, uh, transparency at global benchmark and therefore this is our major step today. As we have seen already, this is not just a one-off event. We already delegated all the powers to the general managers. Then we already made general managers also accountable and responsible. So we are introducing a concept of key result areas wherein each of the functionary working at the zone will be accountable for the action that he takes. And while we do this, if you bring in this type of transparency, then obviously now this will be a real, real major step in that direction. We have seen many times that if you take a contact of a similar nature, a one zone price may differ from the other zone. Of course, there are reasons for it. When you undertake a contact in northeast India, the cost may be different than something which are doing it in city like Delhi where accessibility is better. But still, there should not be a vast variation between the two contract sizes if they are similar in nature. That will be avoided now. Anybody can go to the contact and can see that if the similar contact, why is it being paid so much more or why is it paid less? So this automatically will get avoided. So this will really bring in a huge benefit to the railways, huge benefit to the all those people who are participating in it. And therefore, I really very happy. I wish to congratulate all the people who are involved into this, including Chris. And therefore, I am sure Chris will continue to work like this. And take this new process forward. Also, as you mentioned, the Digital India is one of the more important platform for us. This couldn't have been possible some years ago if there was no digital connectivity like this. But now, with this possibility of get, getting information and communication technology, integrating into management decision making, we are already using railways, huge amount of ICT. I think now almost 60% or more tickets are getting booked through IFCTC or more, more than that. So I think the eventually the idea would be we should try to make it as high a number as possible with new Wi-Fi coming in, going to the stations, with new 
connectivity that is going to happen in the next few years, automatically people will be able to buy the tickets online. But that's one part. I don't want to tell you just now, but in the budget we'll announce, we are also going to take other steps to bring people closer to the railways through ICT. And therefore, these commercial transactions now also becoming so one, one box is customer service, other box is efficiency, third box is management information system which can be generated because of this, and a fourth one is all commercial transactions which will happen. So our ICT basket is pretty large, which will really encompass almost entire operations of the railways over a period of time, and therefore I really once again congratulate everybody. I thank those who must have met, including Chris, so that I think now you need to take next step forward, because something like this having been done, I am sure there is a room for improvement. As we keep getting feedback, we will try to keep improving it. So thank you very much, congratulations, and I really look forward to many more things like happening like this. Thank you.